Welcome to my bathroom. So I'm gonna share my nighttime skincare routine and it just so happens that all of the products, except for two, are from Naturium. And Naturium, as you know, is Susan Yara's skincare brand and Susan Yara is my boss at Mixed Makeup. So I do have a personal connection with this brand, but I just wanted to... Okay, so you wanna come in? Do you wanna share your skincare routine? Do you want to show your skincare routine that much? Yeah? Okay, bye. It's been very exciting to see all these new products come out. I feel like every new launch is just getting better and better, and when you think it can't get better, it can. And I know that because I know what's coming up. So my first step is to get all the hair out of my face. The first product I'm using is actually not from Naturium, and that's because there isn't a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm. But this is the Hamish All Clean Balm, so I'm going to use this as the first step in my double cleanse to kind of break down all the makeup and dirt and sunscreen. It smells like a spa, so there is a fragrance. I'm just going to scoop out a little. Turn it into an oil. So I'm going to add a little bit of water so that I can emulsify it. It emulsifies really nicely. And then I'm going to rinse it off. So you can see there's a little bit of mascara left, but it rinsed off really nicely. It doesn't feel oily, it doesn't feel like there's a film on my skin. I'm excited to keep on using it to see how I like it. Next, we're finally getting into Naturium. This is the Mixed Greens Nutrient Rich Cleanser. This cleanser has just the most beautiful texture to it. It has vitamin C in it, green tea, and aloe. It does have a scent to it, and I think this is one of the only Naturium products that has a scent to it. You see, it's got like, Kind of like a almost transparent texture to it, just like a tint of milkiness. So I'm gonna go in with this for my next cleanse. And like, look at that lather. It just feels so luxurious. I like to spend a little bit more time cleansing my chin area just because it tends to get more clogged. So I wanna make sure I get any dirt and debris out over there. And then I'm going to rinse. After I cleanse my skin, I always like to do my treatment product. So I alternate between a retinol, like this one. This is the Retinol Cream 2.5% from Naturian. And this is a really great gentle retinol. I just started using it and it feels really nice on my skin. I haven't had any downtime or redness or irritation. So this is a great starter retinol. So I'll either do a retinol or this. This is a BHA liquid exfoliant 2%. It contains salicylic acid, which is BHA or beta hydroxy acid. And it also has some fruit acids in it. So this is an exfoliator. The amazing thing about salicylic acid is that it's able to exfoliate your pores from the inside out. Salicylic acid is one of those ingredients that I kind of had sworn off because I had a bad experience with a salicylic acid cleanser that kind of just left my fingers and my skin really peely. When I didn't want to give salicylic acid a chance, I kind of just avoided anything with it. But when this came out, I kind of decided to give it another try because I've heard such great things about it. And clogged pores are basically my major skin concern. They mainly just show up on my chin and sometimes on my cheeks. So this product, I've been using it for about a month and a half. It is a game changer with my clogged pores. Like, it's night and day. I wish I had taken a before and after so that you could have seen the difference it made. And I'll be bold and say that I feel like I get less cystic acne too since I started using this product. I think it's a combo of alternating retinol and this salicylic acid product. 
I like to shake it up and then put a few drops on a cotton pad. And then I like to swipe it across my skin, making sure to pay special attention to my chin, as I mentioned, is my problem area. And then I like to bring it down my neck, across my chest. There is the tiniest bit of a tingle when you put this on, but it's really not that noticeable and it doesn't concern me. <laughs> Salicylic acid is great for blackheads, again, because it clears your pores from the inside out. So I like to make sure I get some on my nose where I get clogged pores. So that is that product, and I'll say, if there's one product you buy from this entire skincare routine, it is this one. It's such a good product. Another thing I really like about it is that it doesn't make leave your skin feeling stripped. My skin kind of feels like I put a serum on top of it, so it doesn't feel stripped at all. The next product I'm gonna use is the Quadruple Hyaluronic Acid Serum 5%. And that's just to give my skin a nice boost of hydration What's really interesting about this particular hyaluronic acid is that the hyaluronic acid in here, there's different molecular weights. So there's very low, low, medium, and high. That's why the quadruple comes in. So there's four different molecular weights. It just really hydrates your skin on multiple levels. So here you go. It's in a dropper. I'm just gonna dispense one full pipette. This is what it looks like. Just gonna massage that into my skin. So I have my hyaluronic acid on and I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer and I'm gonna use the Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. When I first started hearing about this cream, I was like, oh, I'm never gonna use this. It's so thick. Like Susan kept describing it as super thick and it's great for dry skin. But I would say that my skin is like more on the oily side and I found that this is a great moisturizer even for me. So I just scoop out a little bit and you can see I'm like, really making my way through this container. And then I warm it up in my hands, and it really isn't that thick. It feels a lot lighter to me than it looks, or than it sounds even. But I think it's a great nighttime moisturizer. Just to kind of protect my skin, I have my AC on almost every night, especially in the summertime because it's been so hot. The really exciting thing about this cream is that it contains ceramides. And ceramides really help to strengthen and repair your skin barrier. They're essential in your skin barrier. So I think adding this at night while your body and your skin repair while you sleep is a great addition. Now, I don't do this every night, but on nights that I'm feeling fancy, like tonight, I like to top it with this intense overnight sleeping cream. This product contains squalane, which is a skin identical oil, so it's very compatible with your skin. It also contains kakadu plum, which I think is very high in vitamin C. And then I know it also contains snow mushroom. And snow mushroom is basically, they call it nature's hyaluronic acid. It has a totally different texture than the rich cream. It feels like a mask, and it is a mask but I just pop it and I know my skin is gonna be really protected. The whole point of this product is to really help all the products that you put on underneath it like work even harder for your skin. It helps them penetrate better and be more effective because it's all locked in on the surface. And then my last step is my lips. I feel like I bookended this routine with non nutrient products. Glossier, this is the BerryBalm.com. It smells really good. It's the perfect lip balm to put on before you go to bed because it has that petrolatum in it, so it really just protects and seals in your lips. I feel like the berry tint gives me a little bit of life into my skin, so while I'm just winding down for bed, I feel like I have a little bit of something going on. So that is my current nighttime skincare routine. It's pretty simple and honestly, one of the best things about Maturium is that it's so affordable. They're also 
so effective. Like, I swear, this product has changed my skin ever since I added it in. My clogged pores on my chin are so much better. And again, if there is one product you take away from this entire routine, get this one. It's so good. It's my favorite product. So I hope you liked following along as I do my nighttime skincare routine. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or if there are any that you want to try. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.